Today I bring you Fritter by Pastry Boy. Hey there ladies and gentlemen, KJ Andio is back in the house. This time I bring to you a juice review of Fritter by Pastry Boy. It is manufactured in Southern California by Pastry Boy, which is manufactured by Juice Rollups. It is a 60 mil bottle. It sells for $24.99 over at Vape Society Supply. However, use the code EJUICE, E-J-U-I-C-E, to receive 20% off your juice order at Vape Society Supply. I want to give a big shout out to Ian over at Vape Society Supply. Thank you so much for passing it my way to review. Greatly appreciate it. When you're checking out, it's going to be about $3.20 to have it shipped to you first class and $6.20 to have it shipped priority mail. It is a 70-30 blend, so 70 VG, 30 PG. Nicotine strengths available are 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams for all you hardcore nicotine people. <laughs> oh, wow. I couldn't even imagine dripping 12. That would be like, what? It would be such a throat hit and so crazy. All right. So... These guys, from what I could tell, have three flavors in their line, two of which I already reviewed. I already reviewed Crumbs, and I already reviewed Strudel. So this time, we got Fritter. And what is it? Of course, it's an apple fritter. Let me read you the description. Oh, yeah, and you can purchase this, like I said, at VapeSocietySupply.com. Don't forget that code EJUICE for your savings, okay? All right, let's go ahead on to the description. Fritter E-Juice by Pastry Boy is the newest released flavor of a warm, flaky fritter pastry infused with fresh apples and topped with a thick coating of sweet glaze. Enjoy the satisfying taste of your favorite dessert treat everywhere you go. Sounds good to me. I love a good fritter, you know? So it does come in this cardboard package right here, which is ac actually almost falling apart on me. Here. And you open it up. Here's the bottle. Nice glass bottle, childproof dripper cap. Tells you the nicotine level I'm vaping it in three milligrams nicotine has all the standard warnings. I don't see the VGPG ratio, but oh there it is. Yeah, they do have it there. It's always bonus points when a company does that. I like when companies do that. I think they should all have the VGPG ratio. All right, so let's go ahead and do a smell check. Yeah, I'm getting the fresh apples. I almost smell like some green and some red. Like it's an interesting combination they got. And then I'm smelling behind that, uh, or maybe along with it just a little bit, is uh, notes of pastry, of like doughy pastry, maybe a little bit of cinnamon on there. I mean, that's what makes an apple fritter, right? Apple, dash of cinnamon, some dough, like donut dough, but like a little bit thicker than that. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm smelling here. It's pretty decent. Let's do a taste test. Wow. Yeah, definitely getting right up front. It's like a combination of red and green apples, totally. Wow. Pastries behind that. It's like a doughy type essence. And I swear there's a dash of cinnamon in there. Maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't really list cinnamon in the, in the flavor. Uh, sh can't talk. It doesn't list cinnamon in the flavor profile that I could see. But I swear there's like a dash in there. And it's, it's if, if there is, it's not enough to where it's like, oh, I don't like cinnamon vapes. Okay, like for instance, um, uh, this guy here. Hold on. Muffin Man, One Hit Wonder, okay? That has a lot of cinnamon in it, right? I mean, I'm only comparing these two because they're kind of similar profiles. So, if you look at it that way, this barely has any cinnamon, like no cinnamon. Maybe there's not even any in there, but there should be some in there if it's a real apple fritter. And I swear I'm smelling it just like a hint of it, like a real small hint. That's the best I could say. All right, so... Today I'm going to be vaping this in the Sapporo RDA on the Anarchist DNA 200 Solara box. Love this box. I'm at 100 watts right now. Build is 0 0.39. It's a Clapton build. Let's do this. Mm. 
Mighty tasty. Well, I got to redrip. Mighty tasty for sure. I really like this juice, actually. Um, I only started vaping it this morning. I got so much juice on hand that can't possibly get to it also. Before I do a review, I need to sample a flavor. I need to make sure it is what it is. And I vape it for a couple hours. And then I do the review. Um, usually, I don't go looking around to see if other people have reviewed it. Although, in this case, I did because I was curious about the whole cinnamon deal and whatnot. And I only found one other reviewer that has reviewed it so far. So... There's plenty of other reviews from Pastry Boy reviews, but I haven't seen Fritter, but except for one person. And they didn't really describe it or, at all. I mean, it was a kind of weird review. Like, they didn't really go over everything about it. Not the way I am, at least. And um, I know to each their own and whatnot, but I like to be thorough, and you guys know that. So, here we go. Yeah, on the way in... Definitely, it's like green and red apples mixed. They're definitely like, it's like a fresh apple taste. It's not really that candy apple taste that you're used to in a lot of uh, apple vapes. It's not like that. It's pretty smooth on the throat and the nose. Barely a little bit of throat hit. Barely. Okay. Um, out the nose, it was smooth. Really tasty. On the way out, you're getting slammed with those apples right up front. The pastry, the pastry that makes up the fritter, it's like right behind it, okay? It's not far behind it. It's like as soon as you taste that apple, like not even a second later, you're tasting that pastry. It's really good, really delicious. And I swear there's a little cinnamon mixed in with that pastry, okay? It hits at about the same time. Um, it's just so slight, okay? You almost got to like search for it, but not really. It's enough to know it's there, but it's not too much where it's overpowering the flavor, okay? I hope that's a correct ex assessment of this because that's the way I'm seeing it at least, you know? We all sometimes taste different things and also tastes are subjective, folks, you know? But I like this juice. I think it's pretty good. Definitely has like a sugary glaze to it also. Like at the very end, when you're done blowing it out, you have this like really sweet sugary glaze taste left in your mouth. Okay? So expect to have that as well. Um, the flavor. I really like it. I think it's pretty banging. I think it's pretty close to an apple fritter as I remember them. I haven't had one in a little while, I will confess. Um... Yeah, the dough part, it could be maybe worked on a little bit better, but it's real close. Really close, so close, that I'm going to give it a KJ Andio flavor rating of 4.5 out of 5. That's where I stand with it, okay? Uh, vapor production, it's a 70-30. So let's do a vapor production test. You know the drill I do on that one, and then I'll do one that way for you. Here we go. Pretty thick, dense clouds. They definitely stay in the air. Let's do one for you guys out in YouTube land. Here we go. Clouds up pretty nicely, so uh, I know where I'm at. Vapor production on this juice gets a KJ Andio vapor production rating of 4.5 out of 5. That's where I'm at, okay? So, yeah, 4.5 for the flavor, 4.5 for the vapor production. That's it. That is Fritter by Pastry Boy. Make sure to get yours at vapesocietysupply.com and make sure to use that code EJUICE when you're checking out. E-J-U-I-C-E. -E. You get 20% off your order, folks. Definitely, it's a significant cut, all right? So definitely get on it and try it. It is double thumbs up. KJ Andio approved. If you like an apple fritter and you like a sugary glaze on top of it, you're going to like this juice. That's all I can say about that, all right? Um... Yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. You guys have a stellar day. Be excellent to each other. Most of all, remember me. I am KJ Andio, your host with the most. See you guys on the next video. Peace out.